Hey guys, so I am going to be vlogging today. Um, we're actually getting ready to leave to Las Vegas. And a few days ago we were in New York, which was a ton of fun. Um, I did do like a little update on Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on there, uh, but I got to go out there for Glade. So I got to go and like learn about their products and stuff and talk about partnering with them. And I'll talk more about that in a different video, but that's what I was doing out there and it was really fun. And now we're going to Las Vegas for my husband's work. So. Um, yeah, it's been pretty crazy because we've literally only been here like 24, 48 hours and I have so much to do today. Yesterday I went to Trader Joe's and I'm going to do a little haul for you guys. I had gone like um, when all the pumpkin stuff first came out. So I'm going to tell you guys what's really good from everything that I picked up and then I did pick it up again. And then we have some few things that I want to try out. Um, my mom's going to be watching Sebastian so I wanted to like stock the fridge and the pantry for them. And right now I'm just shipping out a giveaway price. Um, I have I do a lot of like um, 24 hour giveaways on my Instagram so another reason for you guys to be following me I'm also gonna be doing a really big hundred thousand follower giveaway on Instagram I'm still trying to decide what to give away a lot of you guys were saying that I should do a cordless Dyson so I might just do that so we're gonna start off with the stuff I put the cold stuff away already so I'll come back to that let me just show you guys all the hot stuff well, I got these oranges. Those are for Sebastian. Those are random. Oh, so I got this tea. This is a Harvest Blend caffeine-free tea, and I'm actually really excited to try this. Um, it's got like cinnamon, nutmeg. Ooh, it smells good. It smells really good. That's what the inside looks like right there. I'm hoping it's... Okay, so yeah, it is little tea bags, so it's like super convenient. This is a tomato paste and you guys it is so good um, it's definitely pumpkin-y it's creamy you could even add a little bit of extra cream to it and make it even tastier it had like these pumpkin shaped pasta next to it last time and I did pick those up to try it and it was good but I felt like you could like you couldn't see the pumpkins anymore after it was cooked because it just kind of turns all into like pasta I don't know like once you mix it together it doesn't retain its shape so I didn't pick that up again but the sauce so good i actually got some non bread i'm gonna be making a little mini pizza using this um when we went to new york they have this pizza place there every time we go we have to go there it's called ruby rosa and they have this vodka pizza it's made with vodka sauce and then it has like a drizzle of pesto and you guys i dream about that pizza it is to die for seriously so good and i actually um I feel like I have so much to tell you guys. I met Belinda Celine in person for the first time, which you guys know she has been like an inspiration to me. Like I, she's one of the reasons I started my own channel. I used to watch her since back when she was like in her own apartment. And we're actually gonna be working together on the Glade campaign. And um, so we were both out there for that. And I got to meet her and her husband and my husband was there. We all went out to dinner. We went to Ruby Rosa and we totally hit it off. Like the second that I met her, She's just so genuine, sincere, really nice person. And we just instantly clicked. And it's funny because a lot of people were saying that um, they would get us confused. <laughs> Whenever I first started making videos, people thought that we were like the same person. Let me keep hauling. I'm sure some of you guys that are here for this are like, hello Liz, stop talking. This, I actually didn't see it the first time that I went to Trader Joe's, but this is a salsa. This has fruits, veggies, includes pumpkin, apples, and butternut squash. So I don't know how they're going to make that taste good in a salsa. I'm a little skeptical. These are the chips right here, and I got these at Trader Joe's too, and these are so cute. So my birthday is the day before Halloween, and this year we're actually planning on just having everybody over, all the kids, and we're just going to celebrate Halloween and and my birthday all at the same time so something like this is like really fun to have like a beautiful spread maybe make like um like a a cheese board or like one of those dessert boards that i showed you guys look how cute that is oh it smells good it smells just like salsa that's what it looks like mm, i can't even taste the pumpkin it's got like a medium kick to it. It's not super spicy, but it's, I also wouldn't consider it mild. Um, you know, like when you have like a pineapple salsa, it's kind of like tangy, spicy, and sweet. Definitely tastes the squash. I approve. This is actually really good. Okay, so next I picked up this maple butter spreadable creamy syrup. I have never thought about getting, but I got this because I think it's actually in this bag. 
for this bread right here. This is organic pumpkin bread. But yeah, it's got pumpkin, cinnamon, sunflower seeds, and I thought that this would be really good with this. And then of course, I just got some organic pumpkin filling. This is really good to make lattes, desserts, soups. It's just good for everything. Picked up maple syrup because I've been using this a lot for my coffee recipes. They also have pumpkin pie spice, so I picked that up. And then this looks really good. I've never tried it from Trader Joe's. It's just marinated olives. And it just looks so good. In here we have these pumpkin tortilla chips, which also, this was next to that salsa. I'm also not convinced about this, but I don't want to open it because I have that whole other bag of chips open. Maybe I'll just leave like an annotation and let you guys know if it's good or not, because I don't want to be wasteful either. I don't want it to go stale. And then I also got this brown rice tortilla. To this day, I cannot get Sebastian to drink milk. Um, yogurt every now and then he'll have yogurt so like the only way I've been getting him to have his calcium is through cheese and then just like vegetables so um, I, may, I like to make him the little bean and cheese tacos and this is a really good option so let me show you guys the fridge stuff really quick I got two two raviolis these were actually recommended by you guys I've gotten the corn ravioli from Trader Joe's before oh my gosh so good but they didn't have it today so or yesterday when i went um so i got this one this is the butternut squash ravioli and this one is honey roasted pumpkin ravioli you guys also told me that i should pick this one up and i got this alfredo sauce it's a is this too much is it gonna be too much like pumpkin on pumpkin i don't know this is the harvest alfredo sauce it's got pumpkin puree butternut squash pieces it's just like ready to eat it's got parmesan cheese in it and then of course pumpkin butternut squash and this stuff i picked up a second tub of it because it is amazing if there's only one thing you pick up this is it right here if you like cream cheese this is just pumpkin cream cheese this is so good i had it on the pumpkin bagel and it's not too much pumpkin because the pumpkin bagel is like very subtle it's it's not like i'm uh, like really sweet it's not like artificial tasting or anything like that so it's just like a light hint of pumpkin and then this is like sweet and very pumpkin-y and just delicious so this is the last thing i picked up and this was also recommended by you guys this is the spaghetti squash spirals and it's exactly what it sounds like it's just like spirals of squash and you can put like like you could put this sauce on it or you can make your own So I use the method cleaner for my island. So I got this one for the stove to try out. So hopefully it's good. I've actually never used it. I'm just gonna do a light cleaning. I'm not doing like anything crazy. I just want my mom to have a clean kitchen when she comes to watch Sebastian. I also got this one for the countertops and this is just like an all purpose. I don't use this for the island though. I only use it for the quartz in our kitchen. It smells really good. It smells like apples. If you guys thought that the Clodera stuff was like too strong, you might want to try this. This is actually like fruity. If you like fruitier scents because I know with the Clodera stuff, a lot of you guys were saying that it was too like masculine smelling, like it smelled too much like men's cologne. <laughs> but I think that's why I liked it because it didn't smell like cleaning stuff. It just smelled like, like really nice, you know? done in the kitchen last thing i'm going to do before i go into the room um i want to show you guys some things that i picked up from zara so i'm just gonna soak i'm gonna soak the oranges and vinegar and i showed you guys this in my meal prep video like whenever we get anything from the store we always do like a vinegar wash so that all the produce is 
nice and clean. So I was planning on doing like this full sit down vlog and show you guys like a haul of all those RSF I picked up but then I ended up not picking up that many things and then I wore some of it and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna include it in this video. It's it's really good stuff. Um, I love Zara because it's like, even though it's a little bit more expensive, I feel like the stuff is really good quality. It's gonna last you a long time. But it's tricky because the website, I just, I can't, I don't know if it's just me, but I just cannot shop on the website. I, I don't understand it. I feel like none of the clothes actually looks the way it does on the models on you. So that's why I decided to just go ahead and include the vlog. That is Nolan Bambi, you guys. That is, every time they hear me talk, they have the need to get loud louder and they're just playing. So this is the first piece. Um, it's so pretty. It's like this crochet material. It is see-through, but I feel like if you wear a nude bra, you can't really see it and it's just so cute. I love the puffy sleeves. Like if you're sensitive to fabrics, you might think this is itchy. Um, I don't find it itchy myself. I think it's very comfortable. I love the neckline and it's just very, very flattering. Um, I did get this in a size medium and I think it's a really good fit. The pants that I'm wearing, I'm gonna pretty much try try everything on with these pants. These are the Spanx leggings. I'm gonna link them down below. This is the next top I picked up and I know it looks ginormous. I got it in a size medium, but let me show you guys how I styled it. Um, so I did wear it with the same leggings, but I tucked in the entire front and then the back is long, so it looks really good with these leggings. So let me show you guys really quick. This is how I styled it. Um, I tucked it in with high-waisted pants and then the back still stays long so you can wear this with leggings and it looks really really cute and i just love the relaxed yet like dressy look of it like it you know you feel super comfy but at the same time you look super dressed up and i also wore it with heels um so yeah this is exactly how i styled this shirt and i just think it looks super elegant but still very feminine at the same time because of the color um you could also do this with jeans i think it would be really cute and a cute belt so next i got this crop top which i posted a picture of this on instagram actually and it just says, no matter how hard I try, I'm not an early bird, which I have not read a more accurate sweater in my life. Um, so yeah, this is a crop top. So I ended up getting in a large because I didn't want it to actually be like crop top on me. And when I wear it, I just tuck in the front like that. So it's not so like ginormous, but yeah, it's really cute. It's just like a very casual laid back sweater that you can literally just throw on and go about your day and then these pants are from Zara and I love them you guys they are leggings here's a better look at the leggings um, so you can see they are high-waisted they have this detailing right here that makes them look super dressy they're thick so you could definitely wear them like this like you don't need to wear an oversized shirt that covers your butt or anything uh, but yeah, they're so nice and this top is also from Zara. I love the puffy sleeves um, The gold detailing and it's just So so cute. Um, I've always had really good luck with these sweaters at Zara. I feel like they're just really good quality I still have a couple from like three almost four years ago and they just hold up so nicely They wash really well. So I did get it in a size medium and I think it's perfect I did come in other colors, but I feel so like high fashion wearing this shirt. It's so cute. Yeah, I got these leopard shorts, but now that I'm trying them on in person, I'm not crazy about them. I'm gonna try them on with a different top. So I tried on the shorts with a different top and I think I figured out what the problem is. It's just, I have a really short torso, so it eats up too much real estate right here. So it just, it just doesn't look right with my body type. Um, so I feel like if you have a longer torso, then you will totally be able to pull these shorts off and it will look good. So this next top is probably my personal favorite. It is so soft and so cute. Um, it did come in two colors, this really pretty um, like dusty rose color. It also came in a like baby blue color. And this, it's a crop top, so I wanted to show you guys like what it looks like not being tucked in, but this is how I wore it. I tucked it into some high-waisted trousers. Last thing, you guys, I almost forgot to show you because I packed these and they were still in my suitcase, but it is these gorgeous earrings. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I actually didn't get a chance to wear these um, on the recent trip, but I'm hoping I can wear them in Las Vegas because they are just exquisite the color is just amazing can you imagine this with like a 
like a, like a green silk blouse. Oh my gosh, it would look so gorgeous. I'm gonna try to find as many links to everything that I showed you guys and leave it down below. Um, I'm making some of that butternut squash pasta right now so I can save it for dinner and I can eat something right now because I'm actually like really hungry. While I'm waiting for the water to boil, I wanted to show you guys this. I showed you on Instagram, but I don't think I've shown you guys on here. My new um, cooking utensils, they're gold and pink and they're seriously so stinking cute. I used to have the William Sonoma ones and those are like really good quality. So I wasn't really sure what to expect with these so uh, because they don't feel super heavy, but they've held up no scratches so far. They held up really nicely. Then also came with this ladle and gold. So I basically am just gonna be careful with this one because once it starts to chip, it's gonna be no good because then it can get in your food. But this is silicone, so that's nice. And it did come with its own gold container. So I will link it down below for you guys, um, but you guys know I had this marble one before. So I have my ravioli here and I'm just gonna prepare it with a little bit of butter, also some truffle oil, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and red pepper, or what is this called? Red chili peppers. So excited to try this. It smells so good. I kept it really, really simple because I really want it. Oh, I also put my ring, I'm packing my jewelry too, so I'm just trying everything on. Mm. Can you see the pumpkin inside? Or not pumpkin, butternut squash. This is really good. That combination, the sauce. I bought this at HEB, and I think you can get this at World Market also, but if you don't have truffle oil, you could probably use this. Let me taste it. It's also good with this. It's not as good as with the oil. The oil tastes a little more authentic. I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating off camera and I'll be back. I have all of my makeup, skincare, everything that I'm gonna be packing up. So I thought I'd just take you guys through really quickly. Um, if you watch my other pack with me videos, you know I like to pack things, um, non-liquids and then liquids. So I mix my skincare and my makeup that are liquids just so I have easy access to it. And I will put this in the bag that's the easiest to access. Um, so over here, I'm gonna take you guys through. I'm taking one eyeshadow palette. I'm taking this one, the new Urban Decay Honey, because it's just been my favorite recently. It's got these gorgeous colors. Seriously, it's so pretty. Um, and then I'm taking two highlighters, the one from Jouer because it's like a golden, and then this one from Becca. And then I have a mini of my powder from Hourglass. And I got this to, um, Natasha Denona Contour Sculpting Powder. It is so good. It replaced my giant um, Urban Decay one that I used to carry all the time. This is just one color. If you are the same shade as me, I think you'll really like this one also. It's in the number 02 and it's a really good, it's like a brown, but it's got some cool tones to it, but it also has just a hint of warmth to it. So it's perfect color. This is in the color rose. It's so pretty. Like it's a good, just like everyday type of color that you can just throw on, but it also hydrates your lips at the same time. So I really like it. Oh, and I have to show you guys this lipstick right here. So this I got while I was in New York. It's one of the minis from Tom Ford. And this color is so pretty. This is in the color Gerard, Gerard. It's really, really good nude. And it's a soft matte. So you can see it right there. It's just like a very, very subtle nude. It's so pretty. This is a really good cleansing balm. It takes literally all your makeup off. And then from there, I have my fresh face wash, which I actually use the full size of this at home. So I was so happy that I had a mini. And then I have, um, this is the toner that I'm taking. It's from Pixie. And then I have this eye cream, which is my current eye cream right now. I just happen to be in a small size already. So perfect it's so good it's got retinol in it and then sephora has a um, 100 point perk right now for the tatcha night cream and this is actually the night cream that i currently use so i got a couple of these minis and it's perfect for travel size and then for daytime i have my charlotte tilbury face cream i'm taking my laneige lip balm then i have my deodorant hair um volumizer sunscreen my perfume and then these are all my brushes but like i said they're dirty because i just took them out so i'm gonna wash them before i pack them and then i have all of my jewelry right here um this is the case that i use this is from sl miss glam it's so cute let me show you guys travel it's super compact like it's like the size of my hand 
and then it doesn't crush any of my jewelry so it's perfect but i gotta go through it and determine what i'm gonna take i know for sure i want to take these earrings and they fit perfectly in there so i'm gonna leave that alone i'll probably take my chanel earrings too because i feel like those go with one of the outfits i'm gonna wear i have these hoops that are like heart hoops i know a lot of you guys like those every time i wear them they're from bubble bar um, I also have my pearl hoops. I'm not sure if I'm going to take those. I don't think I have an outfit for those. I'm going to take either these regular hoops or my heart hoops. I just don't know which ones. I think I'll take my heart hoops. I'm going to take these out too. And then I have these just in case I need like a casual earring. These have little pearls. They're so cute. So that everything doesn't move around. And then you close it up with a zipper. Yeah, like toothpaste, we usually get it from the hotel. And that's about it. So it is almost seven right now and the sun is already starting to go down. I've just been doing laundry, packing. And right now I'm actually just like touching up my makeup, getting ready. We're actually gonna go out for dinner since the house is clean and we don't wanna like mess up the house before we leave. <laughs> Put my bread down, excuse me. <laughs> that. That. Balloon. Balloon. Say balloon. That. Balloon. That. I was calling them bubbles earlier. Okay, <laughs> good morning. It is the next day and we got up super early to finish packing. I'm still like half asleep. Sebastian didn't sleep very much last night. So I have some eye patches on right now. I actually need to take them off already. I have whitening strips in. The hardest part of traveling is knowing that we're leaving Sebastian. Just like that. So we just got to our room and we're staying at the Aria Sky Suite. So we stay here every time we come to Vegas. So I figured I'd give you guys a room tour. This is like our absolute favorite place to stay. Let's start from back here. So this is when you come in. This is what you see. You have the entrance over here. It's just like a powder room. That mirror is really cool because you can do your makeup on there. It's super bright. And then you come in here, you have the living space. Um, over here is the room. So you have the big bed, the TVs over here. And what I love about these rooms is that these curtains, you can actually um, turn, open them and close them automatically. So it's really nice. And then over here is the bathroom. And then the shower. I think those are our suitcases right there here it's full length mirrors i look so bad you guys have been traveling all day so don't mind me and then the bath over here so it's just like a really really nice big bathroom and we love staying here every time we come to las vegas we say we're gonna try stay somewhere else but we always end up staying here then coming out from the room this is what you see this is the main living area and i think this is, room is called like the panoramic room so you can see like all of Las Vegas through all these windows right here. You have like a wet bar right here and then again back here is the entrance. And this is my favorite part. I'll show you guys what it looks like at night but when you open all this you can see all the city lights and it's so pretty. And then over here you have like a little table where you can eat breakfast. We usually like to order room service in the mornings and you have a, a wet bar again with like beverages. And show you guys you can see everything from here so yeah it's really really nice really quickly I wanted to show you guys everything that I ended up bringing with me or how I ended up packing my suitcase so over here I put a little crop jacket just in case and then here I have the outfit that I'm gonna be wearing one of the nights 
It's the one that I got from Renta Runway. I have my shoes down here, a sweater. So like all the bulky stuff, I pack it off to the side in my suitcase. And then I use my packing cube for literally everything else. Like my pants, my underwear, my sleeping shirt. I roll it up, my sticky bra, I roll it all up and it helps keep everything contained. And then up here I have everything else. So my steamer, my Revlon hairbrush, my dry makeup, and all of my jewelry. Um, and that is how I'm able to pack a carry-on and not have to check any bags. We just got back from getting massages and you guys, it was so nice. This whole side, my right side, because when I edit, it's always hurting. And my husband usually, like, he does a good job of getting the knots out. Oh my gosh, my hair's a mess. The masseuse told me it felt like I had a golf balls back there. So she worked it really good and it felt so good. We were gonna go to dinner. We have reservations at the Catch restaurant. Is that how you say it? Catch, restaurant Catch. Um, but we are just so tired and my massage made us so sleepy that we're actually just gonna order room service and stay in. So I'm doing my skincare right now. What do you guys do when you travel? Do you like to like go out and have an adventure the day that you get there? Or do you like to take it easy and just like relax, order room service? I feel like we go back and forth. Like sometimes we wanna like have like a really nice dinner plan the day we get there so we don't feel like we're wasting our vacation. Even though technically this is an vacation, it's work for my husband. This is tonight's entertainment. I'm so excited. Wait, should we pick up food first? The French onion soup looks good. I feel like we've gotten that before. Oh, look, you guys, I forgot to show you the view. Look how pretty. It's the next day now, and last night we watched the whole movie, which by the way was really cheesy. Like, I knew it was gonna be a cheesy movie, but I didn't think it was gonna be that cheesy. Um, but, anyways, once the movie was over, I was like, where like where's our food so i called them and i was like hey we ordered the food like an hour and a half ago and it's not here well it turns out our ticket never printed so had i not called <laughs> they would have never sent up the food um, but they were really nice and they ended up comping our entire dinner and they also sent up some like complimentary cheesecake which was amazing by the way um so yeah that was really nice of them and then we just went to bed so that was literally our night i still ended up waking up at all the same times that sebastian wakes up back home so, guys this is literally the longest vlog i've ever uploaded so you guys let me know if this was too much like whoa liz get back to the 10 minute maybe 15 minute long vlogs um if you guys like this super long vlog also let me know give the video a thumbs up and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go i will talk to you guys in my next video